It didn't take the royal family many hours to captivate the world, and now new photos from the royal palace have become the topic of international conversation. The comments and tributes are pouring in, but it was all about finding a date for the photo shoot that would suit the entire royal family. Sixteen people spread across two continents needed their logistics while these photos had an exorbitant price tag ahead of the King's Jubilee celebrations on September 15. And then it took considerable forethought, more than two months, to be exact. The photos were taken at the end of June, court information manager Margarita Torgren tells Svensk Dam. That is, sometime after the celebration of the summer solstice, but before the royal holiday broke out and the king and queen descended on Eland, but once everyone was in place, great care was taken to create these royal photos. The court reports that the photography took place on the White Sea shore, which was once the court's ballroom and is still the castle's grand drawing room. Incidentally, this is where they danced until dawn after the wedding of Crown Princess Victoria and Prince Daniel but on this June day, the castle's ballroom had to be converted into a photo studio. The long silk-covered sofa that normally stands along one wall was pushed forward on a carpet, and the court florist filled the windows with fragrant leaves. Everyone lined up according to a prearranged plan, and then all that was left was for court photographer Clement Morin to step on the gas and go. The king celebrated 50 years on the throne with a new family photo. And the laudatory result? Yes, you see it here. The king of Sweden side by side with his beloved wife, surrounded by his three children as well as all eight grandchildren.